Hi, I'm Imogen. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be talking about my top five favourite house plants at the moment. I have got a lot of house plants and tend to focus on these more rare, uncommon varieties, but actually some of these plants that I'm going to be talking about are really quite common, but I still really like and are kind of bringing me joy at the moment. So first of all, I have my Marble Queen Pothos or Epipremnum aureum Marble Queen. Now this plant is actually made up of a couple of different cuttings that I've got at different times, but because they're all Marble Queens, I just sort of potted them all up together. I've really been loving this at the moment because it's given me this great long vine with absolutely beautiful leaves on and has also more generally just been putting out some really pretty leaves. I'll show you them better in the close-ups. It has some really pretty colouring, lots of cream sort of speckled like you'd want from a Marble Queen, but I've also got a couple of kind of more half moon types and ones where the variegation is less obvious. Usually this plant lives under the grow light that you can see behind me there and I think that has really helped it to grow so much over winter and has obviously provided enough light for it not to go completely green. I think I've currently kind of got three vines growth points, so this big one, this one and this little one back here, but I might cut this longer vine off and plonk it back in so that it is a more sort of similar length all over and I also will get a more bushy plant. I know from my golden pothos, which is looking more like a jade pothos at the moment, that they root really easily so I think that should be quite feasible. But let me know what you think. Do you prefer a plant with longer vines and fewer of them or with lots of leaves and, and a more bushy plant? Because I've not quite decided which I would prefer yet. But yeah, that is my Marble Queen. Next I have uh, another little plant that is just doing the most. So this is my Fishbone Cactus. I'll put the latter name on the screen. Epiphylum or something like that. But when I got this, I think it just had maybe these five um, sort of initial, uh, I don't even know what to call them, sort of fish bones, <laughs> the five initial ones, but recently I've noticed that for one, those initial vines have grown longer and are really wiggly, but it has also put out a couple of new vines and then at the back it has loads more stems that are coming through. Again, you can probably see that better in the close-up, but I'm just really proud of it. It's in a tiny five centimetre little pot, but it's just putting off all of this new growth, which is absolutely great. I do find it really interesting how the new growth sort of comes in quite long and skinny and doesn't have that kind of rippled effect. But obviously as it matures, it loses the spines and I guess widens out a bit. So I'm really excited for those new stems to grow more. Some of them are also a bit more red tinted. So I don't know if this is some kind of sun stress on there. I should probably look up if uh, fishbone cactuses can get sun stressed. And I'm basically just really excited for this to get even bushier and longer. And that is the fishbone cactus. Next I have another long trailing pothos. So that is this. It's actually a Scandapsus rather than an Epipremnum, but it's known as the Satin Pothos. And this, I thought the last one had done the most, but this has put out such long vines. Could just about get them in frame. And I don't know what's happened. It's just grown like mad recently. I haven't taken propagations from it. If you've seen my recent propagations videos, even with that, I have these two, well, this one really long vine, although it hasn't got that many leaves on it in this kind of bald part. Um, and then also this one. They just have kind of come out of nowhere, or at least I hadn't really noticed that it had got so long. Now the leaves on this sort of long vine aren't quite as big as the ones at the top of the plant, but I don't really mind that. I think they're still really pretty and obviously still have the lovely sort of silver splashy markings on them, which is really what I kind of want in this plant. 
I think I probably will do a couple of chops again because it's already reached my desk so it's probably not got that long to go until it reaches the floor. But yeah, that is my Saturn Pothos. The penultimate plant that I want to show you today is my Begonia Maculata. I got this, I think, just before Christmas as a plant swap, so I got it for free, and it's just grown really well. So I put in this just chopstick um, to give the main stem a bit of support, and it's just been throwing off loads of new leaves. This large one and this one, I think, were already in the plant, and then initially we had some kind of small leaves, but it's now started putting out some really decent sized ones. I think after the sort of shock of, I guess, being cut from the mother plant, it's kind of recuperated and I'm getting those lovely big leaves again. When they're new, they do have this beautiful pink tinge to them, which I absolutely adore. And you can kind of see on the whole plant, it's got sort of these kind of bright green leaves, the darker green, and then also the pink ones, which I just think make it look really pretty and interesting. The only thing that's worrying me a little bit is that it has outgrown the chopstick so I need to put something else in to kind of lift this other stem up but for now it seems quite happy in this little gold pot. The final plant I want to show you, I probably should wait until I do another of these favourites videos but it has already got me really excited and that is my Philodendron Silver Sword. Now I got this way back in October in a mystery cuttings unboxing and I can't remember if it came rooted or unrooted but either way I got it to root or put it straight into this pot and it's kind of sat near the grow light not doing very much but recently I've noticed that it started to put out some new growth. I'm trying not to kind of touch it or do anything to it that might damage this new growth but I'm really pleased that the Silver Sword is finally doing something because I really love this plant. I've recently been seeing loads of pictures of really mature versions of these where there's lots of leaves and just kind of wistfully thinking about my little one stem, one leaf version and obviously I know that it takes time to kind of get to that point and my plant is probably still quite a way off that but I'm just really delighted that it has sort of started to do something. Um, I knew it was fine, it's not sort of shown any signs of declining or dying so I guess I should have expected this to happen eventually but yeah I guess it's a sign to not give up on plants even if they don't look like they're doing anything. So yeah not much else to say other than I'm very excited about this silver sword. And those are my current five favourite plants. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on Friday for another planty video. Bye!